let we start our today's discussion today we discuss cellular hypertrophy and hyperplasia before discussing the hypertrophy of the cell or organ or tissues we have to know the type of cell depending on regenerating capability or potentially to regenerate before we discuss hypertrophy of the cells we have to know the type of cell depending on regenerative capability mutinous the cycling level cells are epidermis gi tract epithelium and epithelium of the dark line bone marrow cells we will see it later this is the cell cycle g1 phase s phase synthetic phase g2 phase m phase means mitotic phase cell is starting from g1 then s then g2 m then it divide into two cells on going through the cell cycle another it go to the sites where needed then some of the cells escape from the cell cycle never return to the cell cycle that is called permanent cells some of the cells go to g0 stage this is stable cells when it is needed it again enter to cell cycle and proliferate according to the potential of cell renewal or regenerative capability three types of cells are present labile cells stable cells permanent cells what are the example of labile cells regenerate regularly surface epithelial cells and ductal lining cells hematopoietic cells in bone marrow stable cell normally slow regenerate and divide when necessary and constitute the parenchyma of most solid tissue liver kidney pancreas endothelium fibroblast tissue muscle cells etc permanent cell no effective regeneration neuron cardiac muscle skeletal muscle definition of hypertrophy defined as the increase in size of the cells due to increased cellular components resulting in an increase in size of the organ or tissues characteristics of the hypertrophy number one no new cell but just larger cell number two increase size of the cell is due not to cellular swelling but to synthesis of more structural component of the cells pure hypertrophy without accompanying hyperplasia occurs only in non dividing cells as cardiac muscle cells skeletal muscle cells neuron hypertrophy of the cells lead to increase size of the organ and induces increase functional activity up to a certain limit beyond the adaptive limit cell become dysfunctional and undergo degenerative changes what are the causes of hypertrophy three cause increased workload hormone induced compensatory hypertrophy increase workload physiologic and pathologic physiologic skeletal muscle hypertrophy in response to exercise black smith hands pathologic myocardium in hypertensive heart disease stimulus is chronic hemodynamic overload hormone induced physiologic uterus during pregnancy stimulated by estrogenic hormones compensatory hypertrophy kidney and heart cause of hypertrophy increased functional demand increased workload and bulging muscle of the bodybuilders chronic hemodynamic overload in the heart chamber as systemic hypertension or valvular heart disease etar mane ki jodi systemic hypertension hoy tai heart er upor pressure pore na tai pressure porli o tokhon ki korbe o adapt korar chesta korbe tokhon o beshi work korbe beshi work korte gele metabolic activity barbe cell size gulo boro hobe jehetu er proliferation korar sujog nai permanent cell onurup bhabe valvular heart disease aortic stenosis mitral stenosis othoba regurgitation egulo jodi hoy তাহলে কি হবে যে অর্টিক স্টেনোসিস কি হবে লেফট ডেন্টিক্যালেতে ব্লাড যেতে পারবে না অ্যাকোমোডেশন হবে ব্রেড ব্লেবার লেফট ডেন্টিক্যাল চেষ্টা করবে এটাকে আউট করার কিন্তু যেহেতু ওর লাইন অবস্ট্রাকশান এই জন্য ও অল্প অল্প ব্লাড দেবে এটা অ্যাকোমোডেটেড হবে তখন ও যত কাজ বেশি করবে তখন ওর অ্যাক্টিভিটি মাসেলের অ্যাক্টিভিটি বাড়াইতে হবে হাইপারট্রফি হয়ে মাইটাল স্টেনোসিস লেফট ডেন্টিকুলার হাইপারট্রফি হবে 
पालमोनारि स्टेनोसिस है तेल पालमोनारि ब्लाड को हार्ट के गए रईट भेंट्रिकल हाइपारट्रफी स्पेसिफिक हरमोनल स्टिमुलेशन हाइपारट्रफी अब दि प्रेगनेंट निट्रस बस्ट्रोजेनिक स्टिमुलेशन हाइपारट्रफी अब द ब्रेस्ट बै प्रोलैक्टिन एंड एस्ट्रोजेनिक स्टिमुलस ड्यूरिंग लैक्टेशन हट आर द टाइप्स अफ हाइपारट्रफी फिजियोलॉजिक हाइपारट्रफी पैथोलॉजिक हाइपारट्रफी पैथोलॉजिक एगेन डिवाइड इन टू एडप्टिव हाइपारट्रफी एंड कम्पेन्सेटरी हाइपारट्रफी टाइप्स अफ हाइपारट्रफी फिजियोलॉजिकल हाइपारट्रफी एंड पैथोलॉजिकल हाइपारट्रफी फिजियोलॉजिकल हाइपारट्रफी यूट्रास इन प्रेगनेंसि ब्रेस्ट ड्यूरिंग लैक्टेशन एसकेलिटल मासल इन बडी बिल्डार्स और ब्लैक स्मिथ आर्म्स कार्डियक मासल्स हाइपारट्रफी अकार्स एज हाइपारट्रफी अब द लेफ्ट डेंटिकल इन सिसटेमिक हाइपार टेंशन स्पेसिफिक हार्ट चेम्बर इन भालवोलार हार्ट डिजिज स्तुत मासल हाइपारट्रफी यूरिनारि ब्लाडार इन प्रस्टेटिक इनलार्जमेंट एंड यूरेथ्रल स्ट्रिक्चार इसोफेगस इन एखेलेशिया अब कार्डिया कार्सिनोआ स्ट्रिक्चार अब द लोअर एंड अब द इसोफेगस मास्कुलर आर्टारिज इन सिसटेमिक हाइपार टेंशन कम्पेन्सेटरि इन आदार किडनी अब द इंडिविजुअल इज डैमेजड एडप्टिव कार्डियक एंड इस्यूद मासल कार्डियक हाइपारट्रफी अवस्ट्रक्शन डिव टू एनिकज और ओभार एक्टिविटी अब दि हार्ट ओभार एक्टिविटी हाइपारट्रफी हाफ लेफ्टिकल इन सिसटेमिक हाइपार टेंशन स्पेसिफिक हार्ट चेम्बर इन भालवोलार हार्ट डिजिज स्पेसिफिक हार्ट चेम्बर जखने स्टोनोसिस इस तरह ऊपर अथवा नीचे जेदिक फ्लो कर तर पीछन एक हाइपारट्रफी है माइटाल स्टेनोसिस फ्लो करते नीचे दिखे ऊपर दैट इज एक्ट्रिया एवोटिक स्टेनोसिस फ्लो करते एवोटा जा पीछन जे रही है सेफ्ट भेंट्रिकल पालमार स्टेनोसिस रईट भेंट्रिकल एखे किडनी जदि एक ना थे अथवा किडनी जो डैमेज हो जाए तो अन्न एक किडनी क्ज कर दूटा किडन का एक किडनी कर क्षेत्र में वो किडनी हाइपारट्रफी है This is an example of physiological hypertrophy. Physiological hypertrophy of the breast, estrogen and prolactin effect. Causes of left ventricular hypertrophy, aortic stenosis, hypertensive heart disease, mitral regurgitation, congenital heart disease, patent ductus arteriosus, correction of the aorta, tricuspid atresia, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Causes of pathological hypertrophy. These are the pathological hypertrophy. This is the aortic opening. obstruction occur here then this part of the heart over active its metabolic activity increased but as because it is permanent cell cardiac myocytes in hypertrophy hypertensive heart disease mitral regurgitation mitral regurgitation mane ki incompetence of mitral valve jokhon heart contract korbe तक रईट भेंट्रिकल थे ब्लाड जावर कथा होटिक ओपेंग दिए कंतु जदि माइटाल भल्वर इनकम्पिटेंस थे तेल जेमन एवोटा जाए तेम आब लेफ्टर भरे उठे आसें कथाटा खूब परिष्कार बुझो आ कि हार्टर चेम्बर लेफ्ट एट्रिया लेफ्ट भेंट्रिकल लेफ्ट भेंट्रिकल से ब्लाड जाए एवोटा एन क्यों लेफ्ट एट्रिया जाए ना जेहेतु जो कन्ट्रकशन कर भाल बोटा के बंद कर दे भाल जो बंद करते ना पड़े इनकम्पिटेंस भलो ये तेल कन्ट्रैक्ट कर लेटाओ जाए एट्रियार भरे जाए एट्रियार भरे गेले तक आस्ते आस्ते एट्रियार का बेड़े जाए तक एट्रियल हाइपारट्रफी है एंड कन्जेंिटल हार्ट डिजिज पैट एंड डाक्टर आर्टेरियस हट इज दिस एवोटार पालमारि भेसल जो कम्युनिकेशन छो हिटासर से तो एट्रोफाइट बाट इ पैटेंट ब्लाड को दिख जाए प्रेसार को दिखे बस एवोटा बसि ना तो ब्लाड चले जाए पालमारी पालमारी चले गए पालमारी तो हाटे आसबे आ तेल ये जावर कथा छो एवर्टर दे सिसटेमिक सार्कुलेशन नहीं गलो पालमोनारि दिए लांग से लीड टू हाइपार डायनिक पालमोनारि सार्कुलेशन हुईज लीड टू मोर ब्लाड एंटार्स इन टू लेफ्ट एट्रिया तेल क्या है यहाँ एक पास लेफ्ट हाटे चाप बेड़े गलो ना प्रेसार बेड़े गलो ना तेल हाइपारट्रफी है कैक्टेशन अब दर्डर ट्राइकैसपी एट्रेसिया हाइपारट्रफी कार्डियोमायोपैथी दिस इज मासल हाइपारट्रफी दिस इज द नर्मल मासल कत जब पैथोलजिकल हाइपारट्रफी रईट भेंट्रिकल क्रनिक ओबस्ट्रक्टिव पालमारि डिजिज प्राइमरि पालमारि हाइपार टेंशन क्रनिक पालमारि एम्बोलिजम 
fibrotic lung disease, congenital heart disease, mitral stenosis, mitral regurgitation, chronic left ventricular failure. Mitral stenosis will have cano pulmonary hypertension. Away? In pulmonary stenosis, blood do not enter fully to the left ventricle. Blood backflow to the pulmonary circulation. If you have continuous data, you will have pulmonary hypertension. Pulmonary hypertension will be right ventricle, the J blood, J blood, the right ventricle, the right the right ventricle, the right ventricle, This is the normal heart, this is hypertrophied heart. Compensatory hypertrophy of the kidney. One kidney is damaged, another kidney is hypertrophied. Mechanism of hypertrophy. Just I am showing a picture, gross picture, by which signal transmission occurs from the surface to the nucleus. This is the receptor. There are a series of receptors within the cell membrane. This is one example. This is a growth factor, this is receptor. When growth factor binds with the receptor, perturbation of the cell membrane occurs, which initiates a series of steps of phosphorylation. Ultimately, this activates the inactive transcription factor within the nucleus. Active transcription factor then stimulates the gene, which forms a specific messenger RNA as per information getting from this pathway. This gene causes either increased synthesis of protein or decreased synthesis of protein or apoptosis as per need. This is the mechanism of hypertrophy, stimulus, mechanical stress, trophic triggers, growth factor, etc. Activation of signal transgression pathway, then induction of various genes. These are the genes which are activated by this signal transgression pathway through this gene. Transcription factors, growth factors, vasoactive agents, embryonic genes, genes become active which switch the production of contractile proteins from adult to fetal or neonatal form as alpha myosin heavy chain is replaced by the beta form of myosin in heavy chain. These genes are activated. Ultimately, they synthesize many cellular proteins and lead to hypertrophy. Maneda would say the growth factor, angiogenic factor, other stress stimulus, growth factor, receptor, bind, stress receptor activated. Cell membrane ta tar je cytoplasm er pashe okhane bibhinno protein enzyme e gulo ache ogulo ke activate korbe series of steps je ultimately active form the nucleus nucleus se transcription factor ke activate korbe ar ei gene gulo ke activate korbe transcription factor er kaj hocche ei somosto gene gulo ke activate kora activate kore ki korbe ekhane je hypertrophy er khetre protein synthesis barbe catabolism kombe apoptosis er khetre tar opposite ta hobe this is another picture, mechanism of hypertrophy. These are the stimulus. What are the stimulus? Number one, alpha adrenergic hormones, angiotensin, endothelin, growth factors, mechanical stress. This causes transcription factor activation, induction of contractile protein genes, induction of embryonic genes. These are the transcription factor. This produces messenger RNA, which produces myosin, light chain, cardiac alpha actin, induction of embryonic genes, beta myosin, heavy chain, skeletal alpha chain. This chain causes increased muscle activity and lead to hypertrophy. Mechanical sensor, mechanical stress, agonist, growth factors. All these causes signal transaction pathway activation. These are the transcription factor. Transcription factor goes to the nucleus which causes induction of embryonic gene or fetal gene, synthesis of contractile protein, production of growth factors. Growth factors again act through growth factor receptors. Ultimately, mechanical performance increase, workload decrease, mechanical performance increase. Growth factors 
stress receptor at alpha adrenergic factor all these factors attached or combined with receptor on the cell surface which activate series of enzyme within the cytoplasm ultimately it activate the transcription factor within the nucleus inactive transcription factor become activated transcription factor then synthesize the messenger rna from dna this messenger rna causes protein synthesis or embryonic protein synthesis or others which ultimately result in hypertrophy of the or cells or organ is at the significance of hypertrophy no effect in early stage hypertrophy reaches a limit beyond which enlargement of the cell mass is no longer able to compensate for the increased burden and organ failure ensues at the last stage a number of degenerative changes occurs and ultimately cell death can occur by apoptosis or necrosis limiting factor for continued hypertrophy and causes cellular dysfunction limitation of vascular supply diminished oxidative capabilities of the mitochondria alteration in protein synthesis and degradation cytoskeletal alteration ekhon jodi vascular supply je joto tuku hypertrophy se sei poriman vessel jodi supply na dite pare tailor function kome jabe na ultimately function kome jabe degeneration shuru hobe diminished oxidative capability of the mitochondria mitochondria je activities ta chilo or ekhon diminish hoye geche oxygen er je atp toiri korar capability kome geche tailor ki hobe ultimately oi ta shokti toiri korte parbe na degenerative change shuru hobe protein synthesis alteration ebong degradation cytoskeletal alteration these are the cellular hypertrophy this is cell death necrosis reversible cell injury ultimately necrosis and this is the adaptive changes physiologic hypertrophy of the uterus during pregnancy this on gross appearance of the pregnant uterus this is the normal uterus this is the gravid uterus this is the histological picture this is the hypertrophy of the muscle normal muscle next hyperplasia hyperplasia is an increase in the number of the cells in an organ or tissues usually resulting in increased volume of the organ or tissues what are the characteristics of hyperplasia pure hyperplasia means increase number of the cells with preservation of the normal size and shape of the cells number 2 hyperplasia occurs only in dividing cell population number 3 hyperplasia and hypertrophy may occur together with same external stimuli as hormone induced growth in the uterus breast etc type of hyperplasia physiological hyperplasia and pathological hyperplasia what are the types physiological hyperplasia pathological hyperplasia causes of hyperplasia types physiological and pathological what are the causes what are the physiological causes of hyperplasia number 1 hormonal hyperplasia number 2 compensatory hyperplasia what is hormonal hyperplasia breast at puberty pregnant uterus compensatory hyperplasia regeneration of the liver after partial hyperplasia unilateral nephrectomy lead to hyperplasia of the opposite kidney or remaining kidney bone marrow hyperplasia lymphoid hyperplasia what are the pathological causes of hyperplasia hormone induced growth factor induced virus induced hyperplastic git polyp hormone induced hyperplasia atypical endometrial hyperplasia prostatic hyperplasia growth factor induced hyperplasia as in wound healing fibroblastic hyperplasia endothelial hyperplasia virus induced hyperplasia skin wards hyperplastic mucosal epithelium hyperplastic git polyp pseudo carcinomatous hyperplasia this is the normal duct this is hyperplastic duct single layer epithelium and underlying myoepithelial cells rest on basement membrane duct epithelium and basement membrane er maskane ase myoepithelial cells this is the normal duct epithelium this is the hyperplastic duct epithelium normal duct epithelium with a single basally located myoepithelial cell layer cells with dark compact nuclei and scan cytoplasm and single luminal cell layer this is the duct cross section myoepithelial cells along the basement membrane these are the 
duct epithelium. A normal duct or acinus with a single basally located myopithelial cell. This is the normal duct. This is the epithelial hyperplasia. The lumen is filled by a heterogeneous mixed population of luminal and myopithelial cell types. Irregular slit like fenestrations are prominent at the periphery. This is the hyperplasia of the cells. Tell this is normal duct epithelium, this is hyperplastic duct epithelium. This is the normally basally placed myopithelial cell overlying duct epithelium. This is the both myopithelial and epithelial proliferation lead to hyperplasia of the duct. Normal prostate, this is hyperplastic prostate. This is the endometrial hyperplasia. Endometrial hyperplasia, gross fissure, this is the normal endometrium. Atypical endometrial hyperplasia, pre malignant condition. Atypical endometrial hyperplasia, which is a pre cancerous condition. Normal endometrial histology, these are the gland, these are the stroma. This is atypical endometrial hyperplasia. Here are some pictures. Fibroblastic hyperplasia, endothelial hyperplasia. These are the blood vessels, numerous blood vessels, endothelial hyperplasia. This is gross feature. This is histologic features. This is the hyperplastic skin, viral warts. These are the viral warts. Or the, all these are hyperplasia. What are the mechanism of hyperplasia? Stimulator growth factor, hormones and others, which causes increased production of growth factors as well as increased level of growth factor receptors. Activation of a specific intracellular signaling pathways, activation of the transcription factor in the nucleus, acts on cellular gene to produce messenger RNA, produces growth factor, growth factor receptors, cell cycle regulators and new protein synthesis cell proliferation and hyperplasia. Stimulator growth factor and hormones and others, which causes increased production of growth factors and increased growth factor receptors. How? Activation of the specific, when these growth factor hormones and other stimulator bind with receptor, they causes activation of a specific intracellular signaling pathways, activation of transcription factors in the nucleus, which in turn causes cellular gene to produce messenger RNA, which produces growth factor receptors for growth factors, cell cycle regulators and new protein synthesis, these, these two. Then cell proliferation and hyperplasia. Estrogenic hormone, estrogen, prolactin, pressure hyperplasia. receptor bind Bind to signal transduction path. A specific signal transduction path is the transduction path is ultimately inactive transcription factor ke activate. Kollo. Activate kollo, transcription factor key kollo, say a gulo to regulo. Produces growth factor, receptor for growth factor, cell cycle regulators, and new protein synthesis. A gulo hor for a kilo, cell proliferation and hyperplasia. This is the receptor, this is the growth factor. Increase intracellular signaling, signaling system ultimately go to the nucleus, which causes production of growth factor, growth factor receptor, new protein synthesis, etc. Hyperplasia, clinical significance. Pathologic hyperplasia is the fertile soil in which cancerous proliferation may eventually ensue. Bone marrow contain stem cell that may be able to give rise many type of differentiated specialized cells may be used in organ transplantation. Bone marrow contain stem cell which has capability to differentiate all embryonic layer of cells, ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. This cell does the correction kori, tahile ki have organ transplantation. Thank you all. Thank you.